The Ruger Single Six happens to be one of the most popular uh, single action 22 revolvers on the market. This is the convertible version, which also includes a 22 Magnum cylinder that's uh, interchangeable and it's very easy to interchange. I'm going to show you that in a second. This is the new model, though. Um, I believe it was 1974. These were changed over. The, the big thing about revolvers like this you had a problem if this hammer was hit that it could shoot one of the rounds out of the chamber and one of the the biggest things about a new model is this transfer bar I'm going to show you of course this gun has been safety checked but if you'll notice there is a kind of a plate or a bar there that blocks um, the uh, firing pin from accidentally discharging that way you're safe to carry the gun fully loaded. This is a six and a half inch barrel. It weighs a pretty hefty 34 ounces. Even with an aluminum frame, which trigger guard and the grip is aluminum, and then of course all steel on top. But these guns, the fit and finish on these, it's just beautiful. One of the most uh, easy ways to identify the new model versus the old is the old has a three screw here in the frame. But this has two pins. This is the hammer pin, and then we have the trigger pin right here. On the old models, there are three screws, and actually I think it's on this side that you can see it, uh, that uh, that easily identifies the older model or the older version. These guns can take thousands of rounds shot through it, which make them very durable, very nice, um, great target pistol. They're very accurate as well. Now these guns have great adjustable high-profile sights, as you can see. A lot of people put scopes on them. You can just see the fit and finish on this gun is excellent. Beautiful walnut grips. I've shot this quite a bit and it's just like brand new. Hard plastic case that's very nice also. With a Ruger lock for that matter. This is an El Paso Saddlery holster. A nice, real nice leather holster. Gun fits in it very well. That's just a nice setup. Okay, I'm going to show you how to take this cylinder out, which is pretty simple. Uh, this is the base pin, this is the base pin latch. What you want to do is mash the base pin latch in and then pull out on the base pin. This is actually what holds the cylinder in place. Now you want to turn it over and open up the gate, the loading gate, and the cylinder should come just right out very easily. This is the fluted cylinder which includes the uh, 22 long rifle, 22 short, and 22 longs. I wanted to show you the difference between the 22 long rifle and the 22 mag. One of the quickest ways is that the 22 long rifle is fluted. This, the uh, cylinder is fluted. Here it's just smooth with the notches to rotate the cylinder. This is the, the mechanism that rotates the cylinder around. So just a little very well machined pieces. Now one thing you definitely do not want to do is to put the 22 Magnum cylinder, take 22 long rifles and put in, or the 22 shorts. They will fit, but the 22 Magnum, the case is a little bit heavier, and so in fact you can see where it will not even enter the 22 long rifle cylinder. But the 22 shorts and the 22 Magnums will. This case can explode in the 22 Magnum cylinder, so. You don't want to accidentally do that. You want to make sure that you're putting it in the right cylinder. And here's a good view of the size difference between the 22 short, 22 long rifle, and the 22 magnum. A lot of people think though that the, it has the same energy as a 9mm, but that's through a, a standard rifle barrel. But with the bullet weight being less, this is not really up on par with a 9mm. It, it is a, a great round. It's very, it's pretty powerful, and as you can tell in the shooting, you, the difference. I would not use this as my primary uh, self-defense round, comparing it to a nine millimeter. That is. Okay, we're going to add the uh, 22 Magnum cylinder in. What you want to do is make sure that the uh, that this section right here, with the cuts in it, is what goes toward the grip. So you put it into your loading gate. You want to slide it in. So it makes a nice fit. Close it. 
Take your base pin, make sure it rotates, it's in there very nicely. The gate open, as you can see, of course again, this gun has been safety checked, but it is unloaded. Don't uh, be tempted to spin this cylinder, which like this, a lot of people do. Um, it will mar your cylinder if you do it a whole lot. Uh, and as you can see, and I'm not going to load this in here, I'll show you, I'll have some footage of loading it, but it just slides right in and that's how you load the pistol and then you just go to index it to the next spot in the next. Uh, to unload, here's the ejector right here. It actually will push the spent shell out. The Ruger single six convertible rimfire single action pistol in 22 long rifle, 22 long, 22 short, and then with the 22 magnum interchangeable cylinder. This gun is very versatile, great for the beginner and for the seasoned shooter and collector. A must for any serious gun collection and a very quality pistol that just keeps going up in value. Also with the prices of ammunition right now it just makes sense to have a nice 22 rimfire to be able to shoot and to get a lot of trigger time in to keep your shooting skills honed. The Ruger single six convertible. Great pistol. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America and long live the Republic.